Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to install a, uh, a LAMP installation. Uh, basically, all it stands for is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Um, we're just going to go through uh, the, the regular uh, steps that are here, and then, like I said, they'll just get you a base uh, server system uh, with those, those things installed um, so you can create your own website or install other software. Um, first thing we're going to do is just make sure if there's any updates. Uh, no updates, so that looks good. Next thing is we're just going to do a quick uh, check config um, list. We're just going to list all the services and verify that uh, IP6 tables and IP tables are off all the way. Uh, looks like it's the case, so that's good to, good to know. Next, we're going to want to install uh, two packages. Um, there may be other ones that get pulled in for dependencies, but uh, basically MySQL and then MySQL server. Uh, looks like these are already installed in the system. If they weren't, they would have gone through and installed those properly. Uh, next thing we need to do is actually start the MySQL service. And so that it's setting it up. And it looks like it started okay. Uh, next thing we want to do is actually uh, secure it. So MySQL secure underscore installation. Uh, currently, there's no password, so enter. And then, do you want to set it? Yes. Always good to have a password. Just make sure you remember what it is. Uh, remove anonymous access. Remove anonymous users. Um, I, I usually say yes to this, just because I don't want anyone connected other than than who I know. Uh, just allow root login remotely. This depends on what type of network you have and if you trust uh, internally or externally. Um, most people will set this to no so that you cannot connect to it remotely. But if you do have a uh, MySQL server that you want to access remotely, then obviously you'd say yes to this. And then you can remove a test database. So I'm going to say yes to that. And we'll reload for everything. Okay, so we've got that. It's all secured. That looks good for that part. Uh, next, we're going to install the Apache server. Looks like there's about six packages for that. Again, this is from the uh, minimal uh, CentOS uh, install. Um, web servers there. Let's uh, start that up as well. Um, looks like that started up good. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to install PHP. Yes to that. And uh, that's completed. I'm just going to clear the screen up. <clears throat> Next thing you want to do is uh, just want to check to make sure that PHP is installed and uh, the web server is up and running properly. So we're actually going to go in there and uh, create a, a file, or basically a test file. Going to be in the var www.html directory. So let me show you that uh, listing. It's var www.html. And here we're just going to create a quick little file. Since we're in the directory, we don't need to go into it. I'm just going to call it info.php. And this is just a real quick uh, script that just tells all the things that have been loaded. For PHP. All right, real quick, and then uh, restart the uh, Apache web server. Okay, that's good there. Clear this real quick, and then I'm going to bring up a uh, web browser. Try to fit it in this window. We go PHP version 5.3.3. All the information there. You may need to uh, install some other packages, like if you need the uh, GD library and some other stuff like that. But this is just the, the base install of the LAMP. 
Um, next step will be installing some other different web applications and stuff like that. Hope you enjoyed this part of it. Uh, again, you can find more information at info.bing14.net. Um, I do have some other videos that are out on uh, my YouTube channel as well. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, post them, and I'll be more than glad to answer what I can. And thank you again for uh, viewing this video.